Hey there, Sam. I'm Blimstone. Hey there, viewers. I'm Winterius Superius, and you're watching Phil. All right. What was the voice? Blimstone, you wretched fiend. What are you doing up here on the sun? Oh, uh, yeah. I may have exaggerated him a little bit. Oh, yeah, because of... Oh, God, did you tell Sam the six, six, six foot tall demon thing? Maybe. Mm. Oh, I gotta drink the water already. But that doesn't mean you aren't a terrible being. What makes me so terrible, huh? Just because I may tempt people sometimes? You exist solely to cause people to make the wrong decisions. Wrong decisions make the world go around, Halo. This is the sun, Brimstone. It's an expression. Well, the point still stands. What point? That... You're bad. You're bad. Yeah? Well, you're lame. Well, you're a sinner. <laughs> oh, this one. Well, you suck. What is he... What is this... The Sam just, like, making Sam reactions while these guys are doing... You suck more. This argument's going nowhere. You're right. We should get to the point. Yes. Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. Ah, fighting. Yes. Brimstone is in my way. Alright. What was it? I hope I did I save? I think I saved. I hope I saved. Look, kid, you wanna quit listening to this Halo guy, alright? He feeds you nothing but lies. I'm the cool one. Don't listen to him, Sam. He's literally the devil. Alright. Yeah. Boomstone voice is not that ridiculous compared to all the other deep voices I've done. Alright, he's got health. Now let's try the, uh... Um, you... Sure, let's try that again. That might be useful. Now we try the, the chant thing. Is that gonna do anything? No, it doesn't. It's the most useless attack I've ever seen. Bad we used our power for that. I didn't even... What the... <gasps> Okay, well, Sam, you gotta battery it up now. I was real glad we did that. Never doing that again. Hammer time. That was useful. Listen, Sam, can we chat for a bit? Something tells me you're gonna have lots of important decisions coming up. Some may be more important than others, but either way... <laughs> don't be afraid to make the wrong one every once in a while. Will you listen to yourself, Brimstone? You are attempting to give Sam blatantly bad advice. Sam, the right decision is not always the easy one, but it is the one you will not regret. Hmm. Promise me you will not give in to foul temptations. Unholy chant. I know, I guess I figure. Oh, does he have all the same attacks? They're just. Okay, what? Okay, can we do any attack? Like, any attack? Maybe I should have done something else besides that. But, whatever. Look, I don't do my job because I want everyone to be bad. The thing is, without evil, there is no good. Folks like me simply have to make sure the world stays interesting, you know? Besides, it's usually the morally wrong decisions that leave you with the most power. That's just something for you to think about. I should hope you think about it, Sam. Think about it enough to realize how stupid it is. Oh, that certainly hit. Okay, good. At least he can take some hits. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to remove the flames. Um... I don't know off of who. Hey, who's got more health? Um, 
Let's try the sword, see if that does any damage. Blumstone, you must accept the word of the Lord. Repent now and be saved from your sins. Then you will be forgiven. If not, you will ever burn in the fire you have created. There will be no saving your soul if you do not change your wicked ways by the end of your lifetime. Halo, why don't you go on a pent for assaulting my ears with your lame preaching? There is no saving you, I suppose. Clearly, reason is not something you understand. So let's stop talking and teach you a lesson with force. All right, Sam. You said it. Well, if you insist. But remember, Sam, when you reach the end of your journey and there are people you've wronged, you'll see that nobody is perfect, not even you. You don't have to do that again. It seems like it did. Okay, that worked, but half worked. That, I like that. Uh, we, we can do that more. Um, yeah, go ahead and go put an anti take antivirus to put out your fire. Uh, um, oh, it's sword again. Okay, this isn't. You, how high can it go? I like that. We can do. Can we do more of that. Um, I think we ought to just be able to attack out of that. No matter how much he's raised. Okay, can you do anything else? Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Alright, you beat me. But hey, remember the stuff I told you, Sam. Conquering the devil doesn't mean you've conquered your own demons. Just saying. Good job, Sam. You really showed that demon what for, huh? Well, I believe I've done my part here. I should head on back now. The people here could really use my preaching. But I hope to see you again soon, Sam. Oh no. I left the party. Well, okay. I liked having those skills while they were there. Uh, I don't think you don't have any pow skill, uh, pow healing skills, do you? I didn't think so. Well, battery time, I suppose. Um, you do have um, healing skills, so you might do that. Then we'll hit a save. Cool, cool. Oh, it, this is the big target on the sun. Is this where the landing boys are gonna come down? If we could get the landing boys quite fast, that'd be useful. Scanning. Signals detected. Data collected. Mission accomplished. Victory established. Self-esteem boosted. Happy face. Yep, there we are. There's the giant, ridiculous Shelly. Oh, hey Sam! We were just looking for you. So, is this the obstruction you were set to investigate? Sam nods. It kind of looks like a huge target to me. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Especially from above. What's going on out here? Something about a giant target? Can I shoot it? Oh, hey Sam. I'm waving, you can't see that either. I'm getting a feeling there's more to this target than meets the eye. There seem to be signals being broadcasted from it. Sam, is that why you were drawn to it? Did you maybe... <laughs> this Shelly is ridiculous. I, I don't know. I don't know if I love it or not, but yeah. Did you maybe happen to collect any useful data on it? Great. That means you can leave, right? Yeah, as much as I'd love to do some more sightseeing, we really do need to get this info, in, in, this info back to Dr. Martin. Alright, everyone. Hop in. Sweet. Alright. Implied enthusiasm. Everyone ready? Then let's go! Let's go home. <laughs>
This is going to be a pretty long ride. Who wants to play a game? I'm playing a game right now. Ugh, no. Ooh, what kind of game? How about I Spy? What? How are we going to play that in here? I spy with my little eye something black. Uh, oh, oh, I know. It's space! Correct. I spy something stupid and yellow. <laughs> Sir, you're supposed to say the color. Shut up, Phil. How about we play 20 questions instead since Serge doesn't know how to play I Spy? Great! Sam can think of the thing since all the questions are yes or no. Got your thing ready, Sam? Nods. This is the 20 questions music. Is it alive? Nod. Is it me? Are the robots alive? I guess life bot's kind of the name, so I guess so, yeah. Is it bigger than a toaster? Alive and bigger than a toaster, but not Surge. Is it someone in this room? No. Is it me? Surge. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, don't, I'm, I haven't kept track of how many questions that was. I don't want to say five. Uh, should I be making notes of this? Uh, we've had five, I think five questions. I'm going to go with five questions. Uh, alive... Bigger than a toaster, not surge. Those are my notes. Not in the room. Surge, that was already ruled out. Is it someone we know? Question six. Someone we know. Is it a robot? It is a robot. Question seven is a robot. Oh, I know. It's me. Does that count as a question? I guess since he shook, I guess it is. Okay. Milk that. I'm gonna not surge. What? But it's someone alive and it's bigger than a toaster who we know and is a robot. That's gotta be me. Is it Shelly? Because she is the room? <laughs> But we said it wasn't you, and it wasn't someone in this room either, Serge. Pay attention to the game. Is it someone bad? Is bad. Is bad. That's a question. I believe that is question nine. Is it the prototype? Question. Oh, you don't know who that is. Remind me to explain later. Is it... Me? Okay, okay Serge. That joke's getting a little old. Is it Drew? Okay, not Drew. Oh, that was a, okay, that was a well, question for, is it Sir? No, that was an official question, so we're not gonna count that. 10 questions, not Drew. Ooh, I know who it is. Is it? Is it? You'd think, it was so few episodes ago, you'd think I'd be able to just do this voice on its own. Is that Drew? Is that, is that Drew? Core! What do you want, Drew? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. I believe mini golf can wait. We have some important meetings going on soon. With whom? Many people, Core, the first of which is a man who refers to himself as the Bridge Inspector. Anyway, he is offering a deal with us that I believe will provide us with lots of money. Oh, great! More money for new putt per golf courses! And, and the weapon and taking over planets and stuff, of course. <laughs> Yuck! I'll be there right away to negotiate with this bridge inspector guy. Great. I'll get my wallet. Oh, I'll fin finish this later, I suppose.
Oh, I am core. It's the golf ball. Put it? Uh, yes, put it in there. Proud of you. Uh, it's a fake helicopter. Part of the mini golf course involved putting the ball between a fake helicopter and a fake tank. You were great at that, by the way, Cora. You're amazing and powerful. You have such potential. Fake tank, okay, same thing. Fake car, first piece of decoration. Gamma picked it up from a junkyard, okay. Alright, it's a fake helicopter. Yes, we're great at it, by the way. Okay, um, can we put it again? Let's not put it. Yeah, who's the time for that? Okay. Uh, oil, is that part of the golf course? It's an oil bucket obstacle. It causes the ball to be extra slippery if you accidentally put, in, put it into it. But oil is really only exciting when it's set on fire. Why don't you ever light it on fire, of course? Cor, who is this voice? Why aren't you exciting? This oil puddle is like you, sitting still and only getting in the way of someone else. Is it his subconsciousness? Or is it like another person who's speaking? Oh, what? Sorry. It's a tree, but who has time to look at trees when there are things to destroy? Okay, oh, this is cool looking. This is an asteroid base, I assume? Secret file, do not read, passcode to two point... I was about to write that down. Passcode to... 2.0. You don't need that one. All that one here with me, sweetie. Uh. 010116. Let's go ahead and save that in my handy dandy note that's already open from 20 questions. You don't need all that when you have me, sweetie. Don't know who this is. Just some fun little theme decoration for the course. Really adds to the whole vehicle thing. Could you torture someone with it? About the limbs, claw and claw, no, not painful of it. This sprite took more effort than it looks, so you'd better appreciate it. I'm appreciating you, core, your anger, whatever creature it is that talks with- Oh, the ball's back. Uh, don't put it from this angle. Uh, put it from here. Okay. Now... Oh, we can see our abilities? Okay, level 66, health, pal. That seems pretty standard. Flames, gun, rocket. Okay, let's go ahead and save where we are. Wait, it still said, it still said just Sam is the party. Very briefly there. In, in the save view. Oh, that's cool now. Okay, oh, because I clicked on the file, it was a Sam. I'm the, okay, that was my fault. All right, let's put it over there. Now let's put it over here. And these are long animations. Ah. Almost took a drink of water and I almost made it before the animation started again. All right, let's put it again. Cool, I'm so glad that lined up. Oh no, we don't want to put it from this angle. We want to put it from this angle. Okay, we put it there. Now we gotta put it further down. Alright. One more one more put and then we can maybe put it from the side. See this way, then this way, then up and down. One, two, three, maybe, maybe a fourth. So then five or six more. Ah uh, no, come on. Okay. Yeah, we might need two to get it to line up with the hole. In this other part. we don't want to put it from this angle. This angle though, that's what we want to do. 
Yeah, okay, we are going to need another one. I figured when it didn't line up perfectly. Oh, it wasn't straight, it wasn't straight on the fence for this direction, so it makes sense that we have to do it from this way. Can we get to that side? I don't know if we can. It looks like we can't get to it. Wait, I'm stuck. I can't get to the other end anymore. So let me try putting it there. No, I still think I just can't get to that. But I can't click. Oh, now I can. Okay. Um, I suppose I've ruined the pudding by setting it there because we can't get to that other side. Although I don't know if there's an alternative. Because it ended up here, putting it in either direction will, like, put it so we can't get it off the wall. Whatever. It's fine. We had a good old put in type time. And it might be time to, in fact, wrap up the episode pretty soon. So, I, is this a, like, a volleyball net? You might go talk. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk to this council of villains, it looks like. We got to see Ohm. We got Ohm, we got Killist, we got Fighter Jet Birds, we got Drew, we got, I'm sure the guy from Beauty and the Beast is in here somewhere, it looks like he'd fit right in, maybe it's this guy. You know, the guy with the candles, he's, he's gold though, he's not white. But maybe he is, we don't know. Dumb. And that will be, I believe, we've hit the point that the episode is time to end, as I've said before. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Phil. We saw some Phil this episode. Actually, we only had one Phil-less episode on the sun. It's pretty short, which I suppose is good. Moving between planets is cool, interesting, fast background. I guess we'll assume we're going to go to Mars next. Maybe we'll run into this core asteroid. We'll have to see where this core plot line ends up. And we never got an answer whether core was the 20 questions guy. I've assumed it is at this point. I mean, alive, bigger than a toaster, if not Surge, not in that room, not, is someone they know, is a robot, is not Surge, is bad and not Drew, as far as we know. I mean, that could be Kor, Kor is the main villain, it seems, but also could, could be Ohm, could be Killist. I don't know if you want to call them, because I mean, we teamed up with Killist, but I think he's still supposed to be fairly bad. Um, Ohm's bad, we can agree Ohm is bad. Um, wasn't Drew. Uh, Red Rock is good now, I, I guess. Is that is that other guy, like a Trundleming guy? Is he a bad guy? We fought him, so I, I guess. But anyway, hope we get an answer to these questions. Hope there's a reason for me to save that passcode. We'll see. So, yes. Thank you for watching, and farewell.